Hey everybody, it's Chris and I am back and I am finally reacting to not Alex's last video, but the one before that. Uh, not the story time about the gender, but the vlog titled Bump Date, Earthquake and Baby Room Purchase Vlog. So um better late than never i am catching up i had a busy weekend and my throat's definitely been really bugging me so um we are gonna watch this i'm gonna see what she has going on and uh we'll see um just what's going on with alex for those of you uh watching i appreciate you stopping by i have a lot of new viewers a lot of returning viewers and i appreciate you all and um <laughs> I swear I am going to be getting the camera and stuff set up soon. I just have to do some things in my living room. Um, if you hear any barking in the background, Frodo is being Frodo. Um, <laughs> uh, my fearless protector here is at the window behind me and um, he doesn't like people being by the house. That's one of the reasons I have to rearrange my living room so that he doesn't have constant access to this bay window by way of the back of the couch. <laughs> so hopefully that'll help with some of his barking and yapping in the back, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, she is sped up for time. I will link her full video down below so you can go to her channel and check it out if you so choose. And let's just get into this. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I was gonna go make myself look presentable, but I'm literally making breakfast. And I know, hopefully, a lot of you guys look like this right now, too. I already had a cheese stick so I can have some coffee. I don't have coffee every day anymore. If you look at the bottom of that cup, you can actually see the layer of the sugar-free caramel that's in there. And I have got before some of these sugar-free syrups and stuff for all my yogurt and in my coffee and, and things like that. They still have calories and they still do have carbs by way of like sugar alcohols. So it's not a normal carb, but they still have calories. And she drizzles it along the side of her cup, you can see, and you can see it actually pulling down. So there's, there's probably like 60 calories, 80 calories just in the sugar-free syrup. Yikes. But sometimes I'm in the mood. So this morning for breakfast, I am going to attempt to make homemade bacon gruyere egg bites from Starbucks. So I have a temp- Ooh, I actually like this. People get mad because I say, oh, eat the bacon, eat the eggs, oh, the nitrates, the nit nitrates. In the grand scheme of things, the nitrates and nitrates and nitrates aren't as bad for her as all the processed carbs and sugar and tran uh, trans fats like seed oils and processed stuff she eats. And she has the money and the means she could get the nitrate nitrate free bacon and stuff but even then it's not that bad it's it's not like she's eating tons and tons and tons of it that it would really have an effect she generally doesn't have a healthy diet so that that's not the worst thing she's going to be able to eat but these sound really good i do love an egg bite eggs 80 percent of my pregnancy diet was eggs so you can't go wrong with them to make these before but not the real way not the real way at all so it's the sous vide i googled how to say it i think that's right and it's essentially what we need to do is cook it with like a tray of water in the oven and that's gonna make it more fluffy i saw someone on tiktok do this i forgot to save it but i like remember what they did so here we go now typically I'll yeah that's how i have to uh, make my cheesecakes too you put it in a water bath i try to like you know healthify them a little bit but i'm going all in on these to see if i can make them like as real as ones from Starbucks. So I have real bacon in the oven. Um, I just thought it'd be easier to do it in the oven, less messy. I've never done bacon in the oven before, but I, I see people do it. So we're going to get that nice and crispy. And, that and the air fryer too is amazing for bacon because it drains and it even has, or even have a setting that says bacon. It's like perfect. I'm also excited to make this on my own. I haven't had egg bites in a very long time, but I remember when I get them, sometimes the bacon would be like not crisp enough and then kind of like chewy and fatty and I hate- I don't know if I've had an egg bite ever. But I should make them. Did that, so I want to make sure my bacon is crispified. So I've got. It. If you also don't like the little fat on regular bacon that gets kind of chewy and stuff, you can substitute it with turkey bacon because it doesn't have like those little fat bands that typical bacon does. Eggs first and foremost, and then the great. Oh, pastured eggs! I know everybody's worried about the damn bird flu going around. I'm not so much, but I did just stop and get some eggs from um a local farm their backyard chickens oh the eggs are beautiful i got some from the easter eggers which those are chickens that lay like green eggs or a bluish egg these ones are green and they're just beautiful and they're so delicious 
thing is he added in um cottage cheese so i got some cottage cheese here and this is also gonna add in extra protein these are gonna keep you nice and full and yeah if these come out good probably next time i'll do like turkey bacon but i want to i want to make the real ones right now i even got gray air cheese i got the right cheese even i have really high hopes and i ordered this on amazon um which came literally like i think same day um, i already washed it it's a silicone mold so it's super easy to pop the egg bites out yeah those are so handy i use those to make soaps and stuff but you can make, I make solid lotion bars in them and everything, but they're, they're so versatile. Because sometimes they get stuck. Um, so yeah, we'll put this, it is flimsy, but we're going to put it on top of a pan that has water in it. And he even saved the bacon grease from the bacon to like wipe, not wipe, <laughs> to coat these instead of using like spray or whatever. And I know people like get mad about that because, ew, the bacon grease is so, so fattening. It's not bad for you. Natural fat used in that way is not bad for you yes she has to be mindful of calories but it is better for her to use a natural fat like that than a trans fat than a corn oil a canola a seed oil a soybean oil those are not healthy for you so using a natural fat is better and like i said that be, I, I know she needs to be mindful of calories but this is far better than her eating that big bowl of uh low sugar cereal and all that other crap she eats so i think these are going to be delicious i don't know they just sound really good so he had blended it up in the blender so i think i'm going to do that i can't remember how many eggs he used i forgot to save the video <laughs> we're going to eyeball it and it's okay if we don't end up making all i really don't need all 12 of these but i'm going to just keep them in the fridge and keep them up for breakfast or lunch or whatever for the next well and that will be good for a little snack for her too it's high protein good fat satiating uh, and it's and it's not a processed refined carbohydrate or sugar. So <laughs> kudos. I don't, I like I don't even know this. if I want to make twelve. I like this idea. It's a lot. Maybe I should try to go for like six. You should also oh. do some boiled eggs too, or deviled eggs. Awesome snacks. Google told me to start um, with ten minutes, ten to twenty minutes on four hundred. So I did twelve. Definitely need more. I'm gonna do the full twenty. I think. And we might even go longer. I don't. I like a crispy bacon. I don't like it burnt. But I don't like it crispy. Um, but I like it crispy. So I am. I'm gonna go ahead and get blending all up in here. I put away my Easter decor and then I also forgot about these items. <laughs> so I just need to go downstairs. Do you guys have Easter decor? I don't have Easter decor. I don't decorate for every holiday. <laughs> I don't know, the cottage cheese <laughs> is definitely gonna add like, more volume. Maybe I'll do like five eggs. I was gonna do like one egg per thing here. So I'm gonna shoot for six oh, egg bites. Here's a little also... thing guys from somebody who's raised chickens and had chickens. I know some people think that like the color brown means something's healthier. And I know a long time, sometimes it does. And I know a lot of people think that brown eggs are healthier than white eggs. No, backyard chicken eggs are healthier than any store-bought egg. Even these pasture-raised one, guys, you got to be careful. The, the wording on these things are deceptive. When they say free range, they might still be in a cage. They are just given a little more foot like yardage per chicken and stuff the pasture raised they might be in a pasture but they might still be like walking all over each other like piled high chicken it's very deceptive what they can get away with they're probably still fed a horrible diet of mostly like grains and stuff and we gave our chickens like food and scratch you know some of it was grain but we let them like free range and just pick at the bugs and stuff we mixed in like a high quality dog food which gave them some like meat and stuff like that and gave them table scraps there are certain things chickens can't have so you'd have to look but uh a brown egg is not healthier than a white egg <laughs> the only difference between a white egg and a brown egg mostly is uh, what kind of chicken's butt it came out of? <laughs> like, a, like, is it a Rhode Island Red versus an Astralar versus an Arcana versus a Cochon? Like, that, that's all that matters. So don't think just because you get brown eggs at the store, they're healthier. Please be mindful of where you source them. There's probably people you can find in your local area that raise healthy, properly fed back, backyard chickens. And those are the best eggs you can get. Or get some chickens of your own. They're actually really easy to keep. Um... And also avoid any eggs that are, uh, that brag that they're uh, laid by vegetarian raised chickens because that's cruel. Chickens are not vegetarian and the more bugs and meat and crap like that they eat, the more varied their diet, the healthier they are. So today you learned and I know you didn't ask, but there it is. <laughs> Don't want. Should I make more than six? <laughs> All right, I'm going to make more because I am going to have two of them probably today. All right, I'm going to do seven eggs. Seven eggs. See where it takes us. I'm going to add in... I like you could probably bulk these up too with some added egg whites for um, a little more protein and, and if you want to cut the calories down a little bit. Jeez, I feel like it's a little controversial. 
I like cottage cheese. So I love cottage cheese. I'm gonna do a couple of dollops. That's also gonna make it creamy as well. Extra creamy. You could maybe, yeah, and instead of just the cottage cheese too, you could do maybe like some ricotta or something like that, mascarpone. Splash of milk, not too much. I'm gonna wait and add the cheese and the bacon, like once I pour everything in there. And of course, salt and pepper. I like that salt and pepper bowl. Fully that's a good amount. All right, let's assess the situation here. Okay, that looks nice. Yeah, but see, it, it is okay, but like if you do bacon in the oven, you should put them on like a rack so that they drain and you drain that fat off of them. Um, like I said, that's another reason it's really great in the air fryer because it drains. Um, and then you can save the, ch the, the bacon fat for, you know, something else like she's going to use it for or pitch it or hell, like if you have chickens, toss it out and let them eat it. That's good. Yeah, that looks good. I think they're all good and crisp. So I'm going to, I'm going to like lay them out and let them drain. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, is when they're sitting in that much grease for, they, it's going to sog them up. I think once they like dry, you know, when they kind of like dry up a little bit, they kind of crisp up. This looks good. This looks good. Now I'm going to take some of that and grease up our pan. I'm just yeah, that's a good idea. And that, that is a better fat for her. I know people go, oh no, that's like a saturated fat. It's in my, no, it's a, saturated fat's not bad for you. That is an antiquated, outdated theory, but it, it, she's just brushing a little bit on. It's better than her using soybean oil. They like... <laughs> Do it like this. I know these aren't healthy. All right, just relax, relax. But they, Don't you know, they are healthy. That, that that's the misconception is people go, "Ooh, stuff like this isn't healthy." This actually is healthy. It's good fats, lots of protein, lots of nutrition, um, not a ton of sodium, no sugar, no carb. These are good for you, okay? And I know people. I call them carb sympathizers, who are very much on the low fat high carb whole grain bandwagon won't think so but there is not a thing wrong for, with these i like these for her i think that this is a very good step in the right direction for her as far as her diet in general not just while she's pregnant again with just with alex with her weight she just be mindful of, of the calories if you don't want to all right so i don't know how many grease I suppose it's better to do too many than not enough do you guys get weird pregnancy dreams like I have been having the And when she's weird. brushing that on there, she's not getting a ton of, of oil on them. I don't know. Maybe those wouldn't have even stuck to the silicone, even if she didn't grease it. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Just pregnancy dreams. They're not bad per se, just weird. That's eight. I just like don't feel like we're gonna end up making more than eight. Okay. Oh, this is the perfect texture. Okay, now we can chop them on up. Oh, see this that one's a little funky. See that that's not what I want. I want the crispy. Yeah, if she uses turkey bacon, she won't have to worry about that at all. The crisp. Maybe it needed two more minutes. The rest feel good, though. I think that was like, see how some of them were a little too long? This one's like folded right here. That's why. I'm just going to cut that part off because the rest look perfect. Yeah, and she can give that little cutting to Bruno. Okay. A little bit of bacon won't hurt the dog, guys. It's meat, but just don't give them too much. Again, especially if it is like a lot of nitrates and stuff. But. I still love this acrylic um, cutting board. Like every night I wash it and just put it on here and use it all day. It's great. I'll link it again from Amazon. I also have that TikTok song. Why is there a thing of, oh, that's those oatmeal cookies she was going to make. Alex, she did make the cookies. Okay. Stuck in my head and you're harmonizing it all day, but you did a good like, job. These are really far healthier than day. those goddamn oatmeal cookies. This is giving the perfect bacon consistency. How thick do we want the chunks? That's the nice part about doing this at home. You can like customize it. Okay. Yeah, like some are, some are bigger than others. Perfect. Right, I think I'm going to start by like pouring in the egg first. Well, in cook. Starbucks and stuff and places, they might have added flour or some type of a little bit of pancake batter or something like that to bulk them up and to save on the cost. Yeah, they like places do stuff like that. So this way at home, you know exactly what's in it. There's no hidden carbs, no hidden like wheat or anything like that. You are in control of what's in it. That's better. I'm going to pour in the egg first. I blended it and it made it like super frothy. These will be good beautiful. with like spinach and stuff too. Don't want to do it too full because we are going to add spinach the stuff and, and they will expand. Mushroom. We are definitely making more than eight. <laughs> I know nothing. Don't do what I do. Okay, people. That's okay. <laughs> It's okay. I wonder if we could freeze these because I could wake up one day and not want them for breakfast. Now we're just going to commit fully. Okay, actually, that was like almost perfect. Word to the wise, if you're going to do this, 
uh, seven eggs is slightly too much. You could do six eggs for a 12 pack, which is pretty, uh, pretty good. This is very cost effective. And like I versus... said, if you want to save on some calories, but still get a lot of protein and make them a little fluffier, you could probably add like egg whites, like take out two, a couple of the eggs and add egg whites. Getting them from somewhere. Now the fun part, we are going to go in with our accoutrement. We're going to go in with our gruyere and then we'll go in with our bacon. I hope I didn't fill these a gruyere is really good. A little, like, it's a good strong. A little worried about it. All right, perfect. Right, face and cheese. These are probably going to be delicious. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, oh, Jesus, Jesus, oh take God. the wheel. Everything's fine. <laughs> everything is, everything is fine. Okay, now that we're cleaned up. I do bit. like seeing okay, her ready? like cook Lifting. like at home and stuff. Yeah, this is like one thing. Yeah, she should have put it on the pan first because these silicone molds have no structure. <laughs> This is a nightmare. Together? Okay. okay. That's better. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's, that's not too bad. So there has to be water in there here? Yeah, it's a steam bath. That's what makes them so fluffy. Interesting. <laughs> so guys, there's water in here. All right. <laughs> We're going to see how this goes. And is this going in the oven? Yes. It's called a bath. 350 for 25 minutes with water here. It's, it's going to like steam. It's kind of a like version of a like bath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll report back in 25 ish minutes. I do have a good time. I spilled more egg. <laughs> so we still have three minutes left on the time. The neighbors are, of course, out banging and doing stuff on the porch on this drizzly miserable day of course they haven't been out all day but now that i'm filming they're out there so frodo's gonna frodo so i do apologize i will try to mute it while we listen to alex but they're looking pretty done i did open it a few times and the steam bath is working like there is steam coming out like around the eggs they're just starting to look like really done so i'm gonna take them out see how they're starting to look crispy on top but i don't know how they are well, and you might want to take these out like a couple minutes, a few minutes before you think they're actually done done because they will continue to cook after you take them out of the oven because of the residual heat. So um, if you leave them in there until they're completely done, I would imagine they might get a little dry. So like if your perfect recipe calls for like 20 minutes in the oven to be done, I would actually pull them out at about 16 minutes, 17 minutes. That way, um, they're still doing a little bit of cooking, but they're not overcooking. Are on the inside, so we're gonna let them cool and pop them out. Side out, they did not expand as much as I thought they would. So you can fill them up a little higher if you want. I'm gonna keep it very well. These look a little funky. Okay, okay. I don't think I filled them up enough. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They look good underneath. Wait a minute. They're I'm very gonna skinny. actually. Very I'm skinny. gonna. I'm gonna make these, and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. Skinny little leg bites. Okay, this silicone mold though is <laughs> life changing. So it is, it's amazing. Take them out. I can make okay, the, wait, the texture on the bottom like, is definitely soaps get... and little uh, pucks of like um, of solid lotion bars and stuff. And I have molds in different shapes, so I can do heart ones and stuff. They're great. They are amazing, and they're so easy to clean. And I'll love them. Giving like the Starbucks fluffy fluff. Actually, in fact, like I get a lot of my molds on Amazon for the soaps, and they're mul good multi-purpose. If I remember, I'll put in the description uh links uh for my amazon link for some of the molds i've used and i have that way if you guys want to try them and you can use them for various things and stuff like that i'll link them that way if you want you can try them they've been baked a little bit longer fyi don't get concerned because another website they, they like can stand a really high heat said you could do oh, this is not even in the frame another website said we could do 22 to 26 minutes so i took them out around 22 oh yeah these need to be cooked a little bit more oh my gosh damn it the ones on the outer edge are perfect the middle ones are a little sus for our first attempt i'm not like so mad about it like some of them came out no i perfect i, I don't know if it's too okay. late to put them back in it feels wrong to fine. do i'm gonna try they're like, definitely one of the little healthier thin ones here. than the ones you get at these Starbucks. are fully cooked and the texture it looks perfect. and you could even like mix the cheese in to the egg before you pour the egg in if you wanted a better distribution, I guess. But I guess that would just be nitpicking. I'm not ashamed when I fail. I'm going to show you guys the real truth here. But I mean, I this like looks really good. Things, so let's see how it came out. To make things okay. It's just a little too thin. So it's not giving it the full fluff, but the texture is right. So what I can take away from this is fill them up higher, cook for the full 25 minutes. But the steam bath did exactly what it was supposed to do, giving it that fluffy texture. That is the pee that's been like missing from my home egg bites. All right, ready? See the fluff. Like that's that way better how for her to They eat. look when you get them from somewhere. <gasps> Beautiful. For our very first egg bite. Oh, Alex, that made me very, very happy. I'm very happy to see her eating that. Uh, that's not always the case with what we see Alex eating. But yeah, good on Proper that experience. One. I knew it wouldn't go perfectly, but it went pretty freaking well. So if you're looking for more of that fluffy, like real egg bite experience. Well, you could put a, you could do different ones with different cheeses and different 
stuff in them. So very versatile. And I think it's something kids would like too. The egg bath or the steam bath. Yeah, make egg bath. Steam bath. They are freaking like delicious though. I wish I had made them thicker because then I think they would have really tasted like them. But oh my God, also guys, we just felt an earthquake. I was sitting on the couch with Bruno. Yar was upstairs in his office. And I was actually on the phone with my OB to call and ask if it's okay to take turmeric. <laughs> and then he yells and he's like, did you just feel the earthquake? And I had felt like a rattle and Bruno did like look up and look around. I'm glad that she's double checking with her OB before she takes a supplement of any kind. And turmeric is very good for you. But, you know, it, even though it's really good for you in general, um, it might not be something they want you to take or that's not good necessarily if you're pregnant. So I'm glad she did that. And um <laughs> We, I heard about this earthquake. I didn't really feel it where I'm at, but I guess a lot of people really got hit hard with it. That's really surprising. So she felt it up in Rhode Island. Huh? But like sometimes when it's really windy, the house will shake a little bit, but it's not windy today. Yeah. Uh, he said upstairs, it felt like shaking, like the house was shaking. And then my mom texted me immediately and was like, did you just feel that earthquake? And she said one of her coworkers in Philly felt it. And it all just came through that there was a 4.7 earthquake in new jersey so people were feeling it all over so let me know if you felt the earthquake yeah no i didn't let me know if you did that's um i don't know where what all region felt it but that's kind of crazy not something not expected i know many many years ago like 15 years ago when i was working on the ambulance we did have an earthquake in the pittsburgh area that we actually it was so quick it was literally only a few seconds but man you could feel it it was surprising nobody knew what it was we thought something exploded when they said it was an earthquake we were like what because it's not common for the Pittsburgh, like Pennsylvania region, do get earthquakes. The New England-ish area. I never felt an earthquake before. Yara said it was way more intense upstairs. I do so. want to go up and uh, vacation in New England. I really do. But Bruno even was like, what's going on? I've been doing work on the computer. It's already 1040. I think it's time to go put on real clothes <laughs> and make myself look a little presentable. Okay, guys, checking back in. It is now 130 and I threw on very, very light makeup. So the recent thing I've been doing. Is I like her hair like this. Oh, Alex, your cheeks are a little puffy today. But um, yeah, they always are. But I like this look on her. I know she puts, she lays the foundation on thick. Guys, she does that one because she's in front of the camera. And two, because of her, uh, her acne. But as far as like, aside from the thickness of the foundation, just this light blush, this like, mild lip and uh, and the uh mascara and the subtle i think this looks really nice on her i like the colors i like her hair like this um i think that's a good look i i've seen her makeup looks before um and uh like i said i'm a girl who doesn't mind like a full beat like drag queen style makeup but she does some subtle more natural uh makeup looks that i really do like on her and i wish she would kind of do this a little more often is just that um color science skin. oh guys let me know I, I i guess she did a dating series curvy connection or something like that is that worth me watching and reacting to let me know in the comments because i don't want to waste my time if it's not but you guys are great at giving suggestions for what i should watch and to, to catch up with you know alex and learn her lore so let me know Inflex SPF and I've been mixing the fair and medium and it's perfect. I can't do one or the other. I have to mix them, but it works super, super well. And then a little brow gel, mascara, and liquid blush. I didn't even do concealer, like just super duper simple, but I think it looks pretty natural and like glowy. I like, like it. I like the way that that SPF dries down where it's not like matte. I love it's not, like, this wet. hair. Like I have the sides of my head shaved because I have so much hair. My hair is so thick. I don't think I could actually pull off this look identically as far as the hairstyle but i could try to do something like that i think this is really cute and yeah i just shaved the sides of my head because i got tired of dealing with all the hair i want my hair really long i'm letting it grow but i just can wear it down and you would never know the sides were shaved but then if i pull it up i can kind of have that edgy look but um it just saves me money on shampoo and hair dye and when i go to get it done at the salon <laughs> it was sunny this morning and i was so motivated and now it's cloudy and I don't feel like doing anything. Ugh, I really need sun. Like, I love New England. I wish I could live somewhere where it was more sunny and warm. I don't know, it never used to like bother me, the fall and winter. Well, not the fall, I love the fall. But winter never used to like me bother too. me. I love the fall, it's my favorites. Me, now I just like loathe the gloomy days. I think I'm gonna go to do my Whole Foods return and pick up just like a few groceries for the weekend. Okay guys, I'm back home. I went to do my Amazon return at Whole Foods and I went in and I hadn't done like a whole return button thing yet. And when I did it, it didn't give me Whole Foods as a drop off option. <laughs> So I was just standing there like, okay, and I just turned around and left. Didn't even want grocery shops. I just felt so defeated. So I went to... I wish she would stop getting her groceries like 
ordered for pickup or delivery. I wish she would actually go into the store and do the shopping so she could pick out her produce herself. And it, and guys, it's just, it's, it's, it's exercise. It's walking, it's low impact. It, it would be good for her. And I, I wish she would just do that a little more. Trader Joe's. I got some new things. I got some stuff I needed. I have Trader Joe's. Oh my gosh. You know, what's weird is Amber's just been going crazy at Trader Joe's. I wonder if Amber Lynn has again been watching. She, I am, I'm being, a, I'm being stupid. Amber absolutely watches Alex. And I do believe Alex is one of the main people that Amber tries to emulate that she thinks she is and she wants to be. And like Alex or not, you can have your own opinion. I personally think Alex does what she does a lot better than Amber does as far as like Amber doesn't pull off what Alex tries to do nearly as well as Alex does. Um, I just think she's a little more refined. The problem is, is Amber doesn't go anywhere or do anything and she just LARPs so much. But um, I, I'm picking up now that I watch Alex a lot of things that Amber does that directly point back to Alex. I've been eating berries every day, all day um, since pregnancy. I just love berries. Berries are a great snack for her. They're great. I'm, I really am happy. I wish she would do these more than the grapes and bananas and stuff like that. Um, they're higher fiber, lower sugar, a lot of nutrients. Um, they're great. Right now. So I like prep them, I cut them up and I put them in a bowl and it's just like such a great snack. So I got strawberries. I also got watermelon. So let's see. It looked really good. Oh, I hope it hits the spot. Mm. I'm not going to knock watermelon. It's not that bad. It's got a lot of lutein in it. It's it's a good snack. Mm -hmm. Watermelon is so hit or miss. It satisfies really that sweet tooth. Give a good texture. It's all about the flavor and the texture when it comes to watermelon. Oh, I also got some cheese. <laughs> cheese and crackers are a fave as well. Spicy buffalo cheddar. I just got brie today. A brie cheese. I've never tried it before. And I'm going to try it. Maybe I'll do a little taste test on a short. I don't know. We'll see. I don't mind her having the brie. Um, I, I do believe when you're pregnant, they warn you to watch to steer away from the soft cheese as much as like more eat the hard cheese. And I'm not 100% sure why, but um, I'm sure it should be okay. Maybe she should just double check with her OB with weird little things like that. Um, even with a little like a cracker, maybe, but she'd be better off to have it like spread on some like celery sticks or cucumber or something like that a little bit of carbs are, that's not too bad at the end of the day but alex just has a problem eating a lot of carbs so she just needs to be mindful of where she gets her carbs cheddar it's pasteurized like cheddar the, the a little bit of crackers with this cheese is better than than the oatmeal cookies with jalapeno and habanero so i got some cheese oh they have these by the checkout sour cream and onion lentil and rice snacks and they are baked and <laughs> um amber just bought a binge haul okay we just saw a couple days ago and she got these exact things these exact things and also pointed out about oh my god guys they're so healthy you know they're made from lentils they're funyuns okay they're funyuns they're just funyuns made with lentil flour instead of just all straight wheat flour they're garbage they're junk food i'm sure amber binged on the whole bag i don't love these alex but i mean overall today she has been eating pretty well but these are the kind of things you can munch on and before you know it you've eaten the whole bag and then that's a lot of excess calories a lot of excess sodium and just a lot of like preservatives and just junk you 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 don't need it's giving it's giving alex amber watches you please don't buy this just buy all fruits and vegetables and meats let's see if amber copies that <laughs> she probably won't funyun oh they're small oh yes yeah and they Delish. probably are still deep fried so oh my god those are so good try those if you can crispy crunchy spicy mochi rice nuggets i've seen people talk about this on tiktok amber got these too <gasps> isn't that weird that out of all of the stuff in Trader Joe's, now I've never been in a Trader Joe's because there's none near me, but I'm guessing they have a lot of stuff. And out of all the things there, 
Amber, who doesn't copy anybody, according to her, bought two of the same snack foods, the exact two that Alex bought this week. Isn't that, isn't that odd? (laughs) Amber is such a like tiny blue anthropologist and she is a mimic. She's an absolute mimic. She's freaking trying to partially skinwalk as Alex, trying to copy her. Alex, girl is watching you. Please just buy a bunch of healthy food. Talk. So naturally I was intrigued. Here is what they are. And then, and then Amber did a taste test on, on her video too of these exact same things. And like, ooh, I like the texture. They're like thick, crunchy. I like those, but these are a million out of 10. Also got um, raspberries as well. I like to make a- Notice though, a- Amber didn't get like the strawberries and the raspberries. <laughs> Plethora, a fruit bowl. The two dips I will always done. grab when going to Trader Joe's. Everything in the elote, Greek yogurt dip, and then the artichoke jalapeno dip as well. These are the best. You gotta have them with the corn dippers. So that's what I grabbed. Oh no, Alex. No, dip some carrots and stuff in there. Girlfriend, try to stay away from those. From Trader Joe's. You'll eat the bag, and I know because I would eat the freaking bag. And it's already 4.30, and I love how light out it is still, so that is the best. So I don't know what I'm going to be up to. I might have to do, like, a (laughs) side-by-side picture to put up on the community tab or on Twitter of Alex buying this stuff and Amber. It's just funny. It's like, okay, we're, I mean, there's... You know, we have to look at the drama and the little tacky shit going on in Girl World. The rest of the night, I'm definitely gonna start editing this vlog though, because I think it's gonna go up on Sunday. But I will check back in with you guys later. Tomorrow. Howdy, you guys. (laughs) Didn't get up to anything else yesterday. I was super behind on 90 Day Fiance, both Happily Ever After and The Single Life. I had three of The Single Life tell all episodes, and I was so excited because I finished the second one. But I'm so far behind because, like, I have my own different versions of trash TV I like to watch and everything case in point these youtubers but um she like i'm so far behind in that stuff i would never even know where to start to know what the hell's going on like next episode in the corner and i was like oh my god because i thought i thought there was not another one for like another week i didn't realize how far behind i was so that was a thrill i got really really tired yesterday i don't know (laughs) i don't know it's funny because like after the 10 and a half 11 weeks i was like i have more energy i am not nauseous anymore although i never threw up those first 10 11 weeks i did have really bad bouts of afternoon and nausea Good for her because some some women puke and they can't stop throughout their pregnancy. Uh, she, I think she exaggerates a little bit with some of the pregnancy symptoms. Obviously, she could be having them. I just think that like she sort of like uh, mentally like develop like psychosomatically develops every symptom that she. Uh, reads about or if there's one little thing it's like oh god I have this and that could just be a little bit of paranoia or whatever. But um. I think for the most part, she seems to be doing pretty well, which is good because some women are sick as hell during their pregnancy. But like after that, I felt energized. It was right in time for my trip to Florida, so it was perfect. But like now the last week, I've been very tired. So I don't know if I'm just catching up from not sleeping well on vacation because you never sleep as well when you're not home or all the excitement, gender reveal, all that. I don't know. (laughs) But your girl, your girl's tired. I'm pretty tired. So I've just been like trying to survive. And I was just editing the vlog I have so far. I'm like, this vlog is so bad. Like there's nothing exciting in this. The next one, I'm going to be telling you guys the story with Yara about how we accidentally found out the gender. It's a really funny story. I don't know if I'll watch that. I might watch it. I don't know if I'll react to that, actually. I've got a lot of other stuff to react to, but we'll see. Oh, that'll be fun. So sorry this one was kind of boring and chatty. I am going to try to take some clips for you guys today because it's currently Saturday. This is going to go up tomorrow. But uh, my friend and I are going to go uh, to Home Goods. This really, really good Home Goods because she's going to be in the area. Um, and the last time I went with my mom, I told her about it and she was like, we should go. So we're going to go to Home Goods and probably look. I don't think I've seen a video or a vlog of Alex's where she hasn't shopped at at least two or three different stores. She she's shops and consumes so much. Like... Is the money really there? Good God. Get baby stuff. <laughs> we might be purchasing our next week of baby stuff a couple days early. Because I was going to try to do it. What was it every like? And I'm two- not going to get on her for being excited and wanting to buy baby clothes and baby stuff. It, it is your first baby. You're excited. You, you've you never done this before. You don't know if you're going to get to do it again. And you just want all the things. You want to give them all the things. It's I, I'm not going to knock her too much for that because I, I know what that's like. You just got to try to keep yourself reined in a little bit because, like I said, she probably is going to get a lot of stuff at her baby shower and everything as well. Tuesday or something. I don't know what it was, but. But you could change the baby five times a day. So, I mean, you really can't have too many clothes. You can just get one item. I am 15 weeks. Would you guys like to see the little bump? Plus size pregnancy on the internet. Well, what? Is that that what she meant by bump date? 
is like kind of i don't know people are always judgmental no matter what i do feel like okay um my bump is coming in a little earlier than i expected just because i did have a <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not trying. I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to laugh. I'm not trying to laugh at Alex. I'm Alex. I'm not trying to laugh at you. This is a very sweet notion. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Hold Tummy on. tuck a few years ago. Um. So I just feel like I know it's there. I can tell. Looking even Yarn was like, "Oh my God, you have a bump!" Like he, yeah. Your uterus, your fundus is not measuring that big right now. At about where she's at her baby is like the size of like your average navel orange or bell pepper i was thin and at five months five and a half months you really couldn't even see a bump on me i just had the littlest bump of a belly like i looked like i just ate a huge ass meal that that's it like you couldn't tell i would have to physically point out look 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 the baby you couldn't really tell i was just starting to get that like you you couldn't if, if i hadn't pointed it out you nobody would know it and that was me on a thin woman i'm sorry i'm not trying to fat shame but on somebody alex's size you're just not gonna see it at yet and in fact somebody alex's size she's probably not gonna actually show until beyond what a thinner fitter woman would actually show because her belly is already just so large but um which is sad because i know like part of being pregnant is showing the belly and watching the baby bump grow and having fun and seeing that progress but like when you're morbidly obese that really takes a, that away a lot um i didn't start really showing until i was about six months once I got to six months, I started developing the belly. And then from month six to seven and a half, it, it went out of control. I mean, it just went crazy. Um, but five, five and a half months, you really couldn't tell. I mean, it was so minimal. Like, so I I'm not trying to take the wind out of Alex's. Can at least see it. Like, <laughs> no, Alex, honey, you can't see it. You just, it looks like your normal belly because, um, it's in there, but you're so large that you can't really see it yet. Like right now, if I got pregnant right now, you wouldn't be able to see. I wouldn't be showing until later on because I am so overweight right now. And I carry, like Alec, most of my weight in my abdomen, in my gut. It's disgusting. Um, I hate how I look. But um, so, yeah, it's just, it's, it's just, a, it's a fact of nature. <laughs> so, but... God bless her. I know she's excited about it. I do hope, I mean, by the end of it all, if she carries to like eight, nine months, yes, she will have a baby bump. You will be able to see it. I, I you, it's just really no different right now. Like if you didn't tell me she was pregnant, I wouldn't know. And I'm not trying, like I said, I'm not trying to take the wind out of her sails. It's just a fact. When you are big, it just, it takes you a little bit longer to show. Starting to, uh, pop out here so 15 weeks baby is the size of a peach peach or an apple something like that yeah exactly alex that's why that is not a baby bump that's why that's a i'm morbidly obese bump you know and like i'm not i'm not trying to be mean but it, it will show eventually and maybe if she decides to get pregnant again maybe she'll lose 175 pounds before she does get pregnant again and then you will be able to see the bump a little bit sooner i can like, feel all this, this is has not this is just biology I'm really firm and all of the babies not yeah she'll definitely be able at this point be able to feel like her uterus growing and stretching the, she'll get the you know the the moving and the stretching of the ligaments so she'll be having some cramps and stuff that's a very normal thing um her fundus will be growing the fundus is the measurement as your uterus grows that your doctors measure at each um appointment to kind of just check on the growth of the baby and how you're progressing but when you're big like that you already have that there <laughs> so it, it just is a little harder to see up here yet it's, i think it's like because it's getting bigger down here it's like pushing everything else up but it's so fun i'm really excited to wear like maternity dresses this summer or like just flowy dresses and have have my little bump yeah, I find myself she's like later on in the pregnancy you'll be able to all the time like holding it won't it. be as noticeable as if she had lost now <laughs> yara actually commented that he's like it's so cute he's like you'll sneeze or something and then you like hold it to make sure it's okay and i do and like oh i'm just I'm holding on for dear life i'm still 
I'm still petrified. <laughs> you know, I am excited, happy, but still petrified. And I actually, I saw this reel or TikTok, whatever, um, where the mom was sharing every stage of fear <laughs> throughout pregnancy, but then also once the baby's born. And like, it's just, I don't know, the motherhood fears. It's a whole new set of fear. And I won't give her any crap for, for being afraid especially with a high-risk pregnancy yes there are a million things that you worry about that you get concerned about I was so afraid of him like things happening while he was in there terrified of giving birth absolutely mortified but then it was weird because I was so used to him being in there and then when he was born I was nervous because I was like all of a sudden I was like oh my god he's safer in my belly like I just want him back in there where he's safe and sound and he's literally with me 24 hours a day and he's protected like you know when they come out and they're exposed to the world that you know there's a whole new set of concerns so yes it's a very you start becoming very like fearful about everything it's so real to just like love your child so much uh I already just like I already love him so much Oh my god, am I gonna cry? I have been so emotional. <laughs> Last night I was watching TikToks of this. Yeah, there's definitely emotions because your hormones are like changing. Just <laughs> I was just crying. Like I just I already love this baby so much. Whew. And I don't want anyone out there who is I, I, I do believe she does. Um I just um yeah, the emotions you're on a roller coaster. TTC or struggling with um, getting pregnant or fertility to think that I'm not thinking about you. I know I'm talking about pregnancy and stuff a lot and I know you guys are okay with that and I've been seeing your comments and um, I'm so grateful for all the love and support. But if you are out there, TTC, struggling with fertility and getting pregnant in whatever way, like I'm still thinking of you every day. I'm praying for you. I, I just, I know... I know what you're feeling and it's so hard. Yeah, it is hard because like I said, I was told we couldn't have, I couldn't have kids. And like when we conceived, it was completely by accident. It was completely unexpected. What a nice little surprise. But like, um, I know some people are getting on her about everything, all of her content being revolved around the baby, but I I'm not going to give her crap for that because it is a big moment in her life. It's a big time for them. And honestly, I don't know. I think Alex is going to have problems. She's going to gain weight. I don't think she's, I think she's going to have a hard time losing any weight she gains with the pregnancy or right after the pregnancy with being a new mom and all that. So I, I don't know that she'll be able to get pregnant again and have another child so, you know, this might be her only chance. I, I'm, I don't wish that on her. If she wants another kid, obviously I wish she could have one. But we just don't know if that's that's possible. I was never able to have another child. My kid, one and done. Like, I wanted other kids. I, I could not carry and conceive another child. So um, I'm not going to falter that everything's kind of centering around the baby now because this is like the big focus in her life. I'm so Oh my god, just please know I, I'm still thinking of you guys every freaking day and if it's too hard to watch pregnancy content Like I totally get that I had to step back when I was going through my miscarriage and trying and I get that So I just I want you guys to know I'm still really really thinking of everyone in the TTC community And I know I know how big of a blessing this is and I don't take it for granted at all I just yeah, never like, want anyone to feel really lucky She did end up getting pregnant and to a point where she could carry I mean, that's good. Obviously She's really getting into the set, you know, she's getting to the point where there you can relax a little bit there's always concerns, but she's made it through the first trimester and everything. That's a good sign. So far, the doctor hasn't seen any problems. Um, yeah. Like I'm talking about it too much or like gloating or anything like that because it's just, it's just such an exciting time. But I never want to make anyone feel hurt. No, it's your channel. If you want to gloat, gloat. I mean, obviously, yeah, it's like you want to be like mindful about what people think. But at the same time, I don't believe in this. Oh, you should censor yourself and not say anything on your own channel because it might hurt somebody or trigger somebody but no matter what you do or say it's gonna trigger somebody somewhere so it's like you should be able to enjoy your moments on your own platform on your own channel without feeling guilty and being so concerned that somebody out there may not like it just do your thing she's being respectful about this part you know just just it's your channel. Just do what you want, you know, and people that are overly sensitive, they're going to have to be responsible for their own triggers and say, look, I can't watch this right now. And this is why, and that's okay. Uh, you know, but just do you. Um, so just know I am thinking of you if you're out there TTC. Um, I'm going to go get ready and we'll, uh, we'll go to home cuts. <laughs> oh gosh. I've been crying. I've been crying every day in the second trimester. Okay, coming along with a very quick fit check before I head out. I did super simple makeup just like yesterday with that sunscreen, blush, brows, mascara. Five minutes max. These are some random old jeans from Target. I don't, I don't like the cut of those jeans. Her, her shape is, she's really kind of boxy 
and I I don't I th I think the jeans are too short because she's a little taller too and they they cut her legs off and they make her look squatter and boxier I feel like a more long-legged pant would be a little better for her for her particular build I think they're Future Collective and then little mini Uggs. These jeans still fit. They've always been a little big, so they still the actually fit like perfectly now here. And then this short sleeve shirt is also from Target. I don't mind the shirt and the jacket and the boots. I feel like the jeans need to be a little bit longer. I've showed these before. They're kind of like a Skims vibe. And then the best spring and fall jacket and again, all year. That's just my opinion. I mean, I am no fashion queen, so <laughs> just my ask for opinion jacket this is from amazon it is such a dupe for the free people quilted jacket it is such freaking good quality i want to order another color it is thick soft i do like that actually um yeah actually like double lined it's oh i'm telling you it's so good this is the exact i would maybe even look into getting that because i do need to start buying myself some clothes guys no joke i i have to but um i don't own anything hardly for myself but with the warm weather coming up i would probably pass for l so i will go ahead and link this definitely recommend grabbing it it's so much cheaper than the free people one so yes this is the outfit i'm so excited let's go shop for baby oh and my little checkered hair clip this is from target i'm telling yeah, you yeah amber I'm does these same things and i mean obviously when you're a vlogger you can only do like so much and stuff like maybe I'll, i'm gonna start vlogging i'll probably be doing these same type of things but i'm just saying you can see the the certain specific shots and stuff where where amber's getting it i want to put this in my son's room alex is so inspiring as amber would say so cute i love this color I don't like that at all keep moving look at this with the little dogs I am little boys all dressed up so proper are just adorable hats and look at these little shoes on clearance for three dollars you can wear in the winter okay guys i just got home uh we went to home goods and tj maxx was dollars i'd buy those i don't i'd buy them store i did not show you my baby item of the week in the store because i wanted to show you once i got it home i fell in love with this like when you know you just know that's how i felt about the overalls that i bought for him last week so this is my purchase of the week are you ready to see it oh my gosh I hope you bought those shoes though, girl. I love it so much. Um, so I will say, a couple days early, first of the week, that's fine. But my friend was looking at the storage baskets and we turned down the aisle. And I look over and I'm like immediately like, I have to get that for baby boy's room. Look at this wicker rocket ship toy basket. Are you kidding me? Uh, it's a cute idea. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Um... Hmm. Are you kidding me? This is so unique. I've never seen anything it's like it. It's cute that they made a wicker basket in the shape of a rocket. I've never seen that. So it's wicker and then it has the little black spaceship wings, it's black it's around here. Um, it's so cute. It does say it's a toy basket. You can even do this as like a laundry basket. I'm definitely gonna do it with toys, I think though. Um, oh, I just love it. I fell in love with it. The that won't organize the toys very well. I understand the thought. I would use that as like a little like hamper or something for his clothes or his like towels and stuff like that because um you're gonna be getting a lot of toys and if you your kid trust me could have a million toys and they will go through phases where they want one or two one or two specific toys and that's it and you will have to dig through that to get said toy and it would it would be a little bit more difficult than a traditional shaped uh toy box but yeah i mean second i saw it um and i think this is gonna be so cute in his room we don't have like a theme that we're thinking of but rather just cute cozy pieces when he gets older and wants to pick a theme that's totally his call but just gonna keep it relatively simple while he's still a newborn yes yeah, i got one other baby item but something like neutral and then as the the kid grows you'll start to figure out oh he really loves trucks or he really loves this or he really likes this color and then you can kind of adjust it this was on clearance for three dollars so it doesn't good i am glad she bought those shoes because they were cute and they were three bucks and yeah he's gonna be born in the fall <laughs> so i mean look at these for fall and winter these little sneaker booties with their sherpa i, I mean guys three dollars so darn yeah, cute deal. okay and then that was from tj maxx and then the basket was from home goods and then from tj maxx i grabbed this for myself for the spring and winter I alex man i don't love that i am in i like a hat moment i don't love that hat love with the straw checkered bucket hat they had a pink and white one too but the green just really i don't know it spoke to me i love hats i love bucket hats i love wearing hats uh, i think this would look so cute at the beach 
on like a little spring date or something. So I could not resist buying this. It was $16.99. And then lastly, I, I just got these. pay that for that thing personally, but that's just me. Bowls. These bowls were only $5.99 for a set of four. They look like Mackenzie Childs with the checkered, almost watercolored look here. They are plastic, which I love. We don't want them to break. And I don't have any bowls of this size. And I feel like this is such a great size for so many things, like a little small yogurt bowl. Yeah, that's a good for like a snack and stuff like that. Well, yeah. um, I don't know. I just, it's a good size. I really like them. I thought they were so. Does she need more though? She buys so much stuff pretty and that's all i got so oh i'm okay guys uh that is what it was that was a fun vlog um some good moments there uh l let me know what you guys think um i know i'm just a real real hard ass and i'm just a bully as to alex um but I, I think i was pretty good in this one um she i liked a lot of the stuff she did i didn't have too much hate um Sorry to disappoint people, but uh, <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments. If you don't have a comment and you want to leave a comment for the algorithm, put like a bacon emoji uh, or an egg emoji in the comments. <laughs> and I thank you. I thank you for watching and uh, keep an eye on the channel for more stuff. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.